Hey, hey, so what's up? Uh, it's Bale, and today we'll be taking a look at the Arbalest from Full Metal Panic. Now, I mean, I know this isn't the anime accurate version of the model. But this was $20 cheaper on Amazon despite having more stuff in the box? So, I'm not gonna complain. Plus, I got it with a gift card. It's a $50 gift card. This was $37. The anime accurate version. Get out of here, tiger. Oh, yeah. Say hello to my cat for a little bit, guys. And say goodbye. It's gotten a bit bigger. Anyways, so it's $37. The anime accurate version of this, which did not come with this <laughs> or this, was $53 on Amazon. <laughs> So it's kind of a no-brainer. Plus, if I ended up wanting this to be anime accurate, I could easily repaint it. Anyways, that's enough talking about the backstory. I love this artwork. I just do. And this box is about as <laughs> this box is about as thick as the Master Grade GM Sniper 2 box. <sighs> okay. So, Tiger, oh my god. I'm sorry, he's messing with my little setup here. <laughs> this is weird. This doesn't normally happen. Okay, so let's get some size comparisons out of the way before Tiger decides to destroy all of them. Uh, first up, the 1 to 1 44th scale. Granddaddy Gundam. Oh, right. This is a 1 60th scale kit, by the way, guys. That's a uh, perfect grade scale. So, uh, keep that in mind. Oh, God. Tiger, buddy, come here. Ugh. Let's keep that in mind throughout this review. That this is the same scale as any perfect grade. I don't have any perfect grade Gundams or other, what? No, I don't think they made any perfect grades that aren't Gundams. Aside from Sharzaku. Okay, yeah, that's true. I don't have any perfect grade Gunpla. Okay. All I have are high grades, real grades, and then two master grades. So, high grade, granddaddy Gundam. I still have to review him. Can't move. Master grade GM Sniper 2. I'll have to review him later, too. He's one of my favorite kits that I've built. One of my more recent builds, well, I mean, the GM Sniper 2 I built in September. This I built back in either June or July. But the Wyndham, damn it. <laughs> the Wyndham, uh, which is a high grade. So this thing is either taller than or shorter than everything that I own so far. Uh, the 1 to 144 scale Alto with the sniper pack from. And I 30 minute missions kits. It still sucks we don't have any like show or manga or anything for those. The high grade Leo, which is absolutely tiny. I love it. It's just. <laughs> uh... Okay. Uh... Another one of my favorites is the Astray Blue Frame Second L. Mm hmm. And another one of my favorites, the high-grade high G-Bouncer, which I custom-painted. I'll have to review him one day, too. And then... Just a 6-inch Marvel Legends Iron Man. Because I figured I needed a human thing to compare this with. <laughs> um, okay, so all that out of the way. Herbalist. So, if you guys don't know, the thing about um, the armed slaves in Full Metal Panic, this right here is not their cockpit. That is. <laughs> it doesn't have a little pilot figure or anything, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, that's, that's where the cockpit is. Um, I, I thought it was cool that they actually included it. They didn't have to, but they did. Include it, and that makes me happy. Uh, so I also painted in here. Uh, right. So, in case you haven't noticed, this is the same coloration as the Gernsback, because for the most part, the Arbalest is just a Gernsback 
with a different head, different shoulders, different back here because it has the Lambda driver. And depending if I should do articulation or accessories first, since I mentioned, mentioned the, the Lambda driver. Okay, cat, come on. Okay, we'll do accessories. <laughs> Yeah, um, so keep in mind that I have not finished panel lining at the time of this review because I started panel lining on the XL2, the booster, right? I started. I didn't finish, <laughs> but I started. So to put on the XL2 booster, uh, you raise these two up. It helps if you open these as well to help get them over. But you just turn them around, plug it into the backpack like that, close these on over, and then boom. I mean, he can't really stand up. That's why they included an Action Base 5. And this little adapter made specifically for this booster pack. So, get that to work. You just take this, like this way, or, no, this way. Plug it on. You plug it under there. It'll hold on. Oh, that's cool. Just take it off. Same process. Take it off. I think if you just want to display this guy on the base without the thing, this little middle bit right here, you can pop that off, but it's a pain in the ass to do so. And you can pop it onto here. I'm not going to. Cause it takes forever. <laughs> uh, plus I might lose it if I do because it's a small piece. Anyways, rest of the accessories. You have this machine gun, which they made specifically for the model kit. According to the box, it said that this thing, the unique, an armament unique to the plastic model kit, newly designed by the dude who did the mech designs for Full Metal Panic. So this isn't in the anime. I've seen Invisible Victory. This isn't in there. Um, I actually pirated Invisible Victory because I couldn't find it on Hulu. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the... Gra oh, God. How do I pronounce that? <laughs> Graz Manleiker ASW 2000 LDW, which is a light defense weapon. To put this in the hand... Well, I mean, you need one of the holding hands, first of all. Take a holding hand, right? And you just slide it on in there. You just slide it on in there, you'll be good. If you get the arbalist to actually hold on to it, pop out that hand, and then pop in this hand. I'm so sorry, Tiger. Come on, man. Quit messing with my stuff buddy <laughs> anyways so that's yeah that's that gun i don't particularly care for it much just i don't know i just don't really care for it and then the shotgun you open up the hand take shotgun put in hand and then close hand put hand on model, shotgun in hand. <laughs> so that is, and the cool thing about this shotgun, right? And not only does you know a little thing go back like that, but this moves. You can pump the shotgun. How awesome is that, eh? And it only comes with four hands. You have these widespread open hands, and then holding hands. <laughs> I prefer the widespread open hands because I don't like displaying mine with the weapons. And then you have the monomolecular mono cutter, which is basically an oversized knife. I have to paint it still, but again, it just slides into the hand, plugs into the sheath, and you can actually plug the sheath in here, or you can slide it into this little handy dandy thing right here, like that. And then plug this 
onto the back if you take off this bit right here. Pretty cool. Um, okay, so what else? Oh yes, Lambda Driver. Lots of parts for the, oh wait, no. There's another thing we forgot. A little knife. A little knife. To put this on, you take off these two bits here and here, and then you plug that on, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna lose these two little parts if I do it. Because I have no faith in myself. And as for putting on the Lambda Driver, you're gonna open these two parts like this. You're gonna take this off, take, come on, take this off. And you're gonna unplug this, unplug this, and then pop off that, pop off that, and then I can't do it without taking off the arm, but you're going to take this little top bit, slide it off, and do the same on the other side, put those arms back on, I said plug those arms back on, my god. The Arbalest will be looking like this, which is kind of sad. And, okay. So then you have these. This is the open bit for the Lambda driver on the back. What you're gonna wanna do is take this, plug it right there. Take this center part. Okay, I'm a motherfucker. Come on. Damn it. Plug in. Same bit for this last part right here. Plug in. Wow. And you take this, plug it into the back like that. Right. And then same deal on the other side. So now you have the back of the Lambda driver done. Now for the arm, you are going to need these two pieces. So you take this right from the shoulder, plug this one in, take this, right, slide it like that, then take this little this little piece right here. If I can fix no tiger. <laughs> Ugh. Little buddy. I'm so sorry that he keeps interrupting. Put it like that. Now he's attacking my setup again. Take this. Slide. Oh, there goes the GM sniper too. You just plug it on right there. And then do the same for the left side. There you are, Lambda Driver. Now, for the sake of easiness, I'm just going to keep all these Lambda Driver parts on there for the rest of this review. So, as far as articulation goes, head can go up about that far. If you move this out a little bit, whoops, move this out a little bit, just the tiniest bit further, but not much, I can go down that far. Then if you move this forward, you can go down that far. <laughs> uh, you can do a full 360. That's cool. Then in the chest, you have this neat little gimmick. I like that. I do. Um, arm swings out like that. Cool. You can do full 360 degrees. Do full 360 at the bicep. You can bend real nice right there. I like that. I do. And it's a ball joint. Do what a ball joint can do. And then for the chest, 
can bend about that far. Tiger! Oh my lord. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just leave him. <laughs> All right, and you can do a full 360 if you wish. Whoops, what did I just knock off? So I knocked something off. It's part of the Lambda driver. Oh God. Oh wait, here it is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, bit of advice. You might want to glue those bits. You might want to glue those bits on there if you intend to keep the lambda driver on, because if not, they will pop off. Okay, you're not staying over here, Tiger. You're ruining the shot. <laughs> <sighs> He's a little attention whore. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you can also do that with the torso. Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, you can't get a full 360 out of this because of this bit right here. Connects right into it, well, punches into it. You can kick up that far though, and then if you move the butt flap out of the way, because it can only go up that far, you can go backwards that far, which I mean, that's, that's more than enough. Uh, you can almost do the full splits. Oh yeah, arms go out about that far too. I forgot about that. You can almost do the full splits. Almost. I mean, if you really wanted to push it, you could, but I wouldn't. Right. And then for the legs, yes, you can go that far. Uh, you can actually push this little joint down. It just makes it look a little bit taller. I don't care for it. Push it back up. Uh, as far as the bend goes, you can bend that far, which is nice. I don't even know that. Uh, foot can bend up that far. Then back that far. Yeah, this moves as well if you want it to. I don't know why you would want to. Oh. Or to that far, or to that far. Feels like something just got a little bit loose. Oh yeah, I accidentally almost <laughs> did that. There we go. Yeah. Uh, this little thing moves as well. So that's cool. Uh, as far as posing goes, you can pull off a whole lot of poses with this. Like, if you want, you could very easily uh, get into a kneeling pose. It'll be fine. I mean, I don't have very many models that can very easily pull off a good kneeling pose, but. <laughs> and as I said, it just starts falling apart. Uh... Oh, oh, Kimma, you're doing so well, and now you're not. There you go. Okay, I keep meaning, I keep meaning to bend, or not bend, but twist, like that. But I don't, I don't know why. So you can sort of pull off the look um, for the cover of uh, Invisible Victory. Probably not the Lambda, I could land it everything. Anyways, so I think that's about it for the review. Um, can't really think of anything that I might have missed. I think I got it all. Might not have. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, okay, so as far as color separation and stuff like stickers go or whatever, you don't have very many of them for this kit, which I think is awesome because <laughs> cause I don't like it when my models are very sticker heavy or whatever, you know? Um, at least not for the Bandai model kits. So, there are only a total of, there are only a total of like four stickers for this model. And that's this one right here on the crotch plate. This w this one for the eyes. And these two for the butt flaps. Oh my god, Tiger, quit it! <sighs> it's insane. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if you feel I missed anything, let me know.
And until then, ciao.